What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple redirect page so that you can take people from page A to page B in a certain number of seconds automatically uh, to any URL of your choice. Um, emphasis on simple because this is a meta redirect I'm using, which is currently not recommended due to some possible issues with some browsers, such as people not able to click on the back button and the like. However, in this case, if you don't have control over the funnel builder files, for example, uh, you can't edit them, such as click funnels, the meta redirect is a, an acceptable approach, especially if you can put a button or some text that are saying something like, click here if you're not redirected, so that at least they can click on the button. Uh, now, this may be useful for you. you. You may be asking, how can I benefit? Uh, just throwing out some ideas there. Uh, you can add pixels there. So if you're sending people from one page to a page you don't control, you can create this bridge redirect page so you can add a pixel there which will indicate, which will let you know that someone clicked on, basically went through to the page that you don't control because now you're putting a page in between, which is this bridge redirect page. And then you're gonna automatically redirect them. So for example, Click Magic has this feature where you can add the pixel code um, in the actual tracking link, but some people say that um, it redirects, it, it takes too long or it's, or it's too fast. They want more time. Um, so in this case, this is perfect for you because you can not only customize what it says now on the redirect so people don't wait with a blank screen, but now you can uh, tell people, hey, you know, thanks for buying or whatever, we're redirecting you. Uh, and you can specify the time. So let me just show you roughly what this looks like. So I have my landing page here. I'm going to click on next. And as you can see here, it says, thank you for subscribing. Uh, please whitelist, you know, stuff like that. And that was a three second redirect. I set the redirect back to this landing page. Um, so let, let me just show you what that looks like again. <laughs> so again, and then over here, I said, please click here if you haven't been redirected. Okay, so let me now show you how that is done. So I'm going to go to my thank you page URL. I'm not going to create a brand new page. I'm not going to spend time, you know, adding the headline and stuff like that. You know how to add all these. But I will tell you the two main components you need, which is one, uh, an image and, and how to maybe find some of these floating images uh, and B, what the code is. So uh, here I am. Let's suppose I want to make this page my redirect page, right? My bridge redirect page. The tracking code you need is this one. So I'm going to copy that uh, in the description of this video. I will probably leave out these um, triangle brackets. I forgot what the name is uh, because YouTube doesn't allow me to post with them. Uh, but all you have to do is just copy it as you see here. So add these to the end of whatever I'm going to post. So the two things in this code that you can edit that you probably would want to edit, uh, leave everything except this for one. So that's the number of seconds before the redirect. So as you know, over here, I said three seconds and over here, it says three seconds. So just make sure it matches. So, um, I mean, that doesn't have to, honestly, it's not a big deal, but it would look good for you, right? Because um, you want to make that similar. So just maybe change that to whatever you want to. If you make it 10, then users will be redirected in 10 seconds to this URL, which brings us to the second point is uh, the second part you can edit is the URL. So Enter the URL that you want people to take to right here. Uh, simple as that. One thing I do want to point out is the URL has to be exactly what you see. So if your URL says HTTPS, double dots, forward slash, forward slash, blah, 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 add that in. If your URL says that and you type in www.username, this will not work. So set the URL to exactly what you see with the HTTP and HTTPS in front, um, HTTPS if you have a secure site. So that's pretty much it for this part. Um, over here, you can do this in a number of ways. You can add a button or you can just add, you know, link text. So if I select text and I link it, I can add the URL there and I can unlink it if I want to. And regarding the image, you can just type in loading circle GIF into Google and you can get a bunch of these images. Now it looks like they're not moving, but if you actually click on any one of them, they do. So click on this, it moves, click on this, you know, pretty cool. Get some pretty cool designs. Just make sure you're allowed to take them. Make sure, you know, it's not copyrighted property that you're not allowed to use, stuff like that. So maybe just when you click on one of them, you know, that's pretty crazy. Uh, click on visit and see if uh, you're able to use it. 
This one, for instance, has the same thing, has the same idea. Uh, that one looks pretty cool. So then what you're just going to do is click on um, save image as, save it. And then over here, you know, this is just a basic image. You're going to first upload the image and click funnels again, basic click funnel stuff. I'm not going to teach you because it's, it's, it's straightforward. You just upload the image here. You click this, you upload it and you just add it. Okay. So that's, that's there and there. Um, now, sometimes you may have to uh, change the width because as I first got this image, it's pretty huge. So I had to make it 150 pixels, a bit smaller. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Now, um, here's another site you can use, giphy.com. You can use some images here, right? There's a bunch of them here. Or if you want to get some ideas for what to type into Google, I'll link you this URL, and it just gives you some ideas. So you can type in preloader circle. You can type in buffer shape um, circle. Uh, you can type, let's see, uh, completion circle, phase circle, progress circle. Okay, so type all of that in um, if you're not happy with these, just to give you some more ideas. So that's pretty much it. That is how you create this bridge redirect page in ClickFunnels. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to let me know down below. I try to be as responsive as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Um, thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.